What's up guys, I'm Nathan from NextGen Tutorials and today I'm reviewing Outfittery. So what is Outfittery and what does it do for you? Well, if you're a guy and you don't like shopping or you just don't know what matches what or you need some fashion advice, well, then there's Outfittery. Outfittery is an online service that actually assigns a fashion expert to you after filling in a questionnaire and optionally having a phone call with them. So the questionnaire is actually some simple questions such as what kind of shirt uh, would you prefer, what brands do you prefer, what colors do you prefer, simple, simple stuff like that. Also for your pants, your belts and your shoes, they all ask those questions so they can assist you accordingly. So once you've done that questionnaire and you've handed it in, they give you the option to call with your assigned personal fashion expert to see what other information you would like to give them on what kind of clothes you'd like to receive or what kind of suggestions you'd like to receive. So once you've had that call, they will plan a date for you to have the box sent to your address. So this is pretty cool because they've sent me this box with outfits that they picked out. Um, there's no obligation to buy them. There's no costs or whatsoever so if you don't like the box you can send it back and the only thing you pay is what you keep so basically you take out the clothes from the box you check them out you wear them you see what suits you what doesn't suit you what fits you um, what's too big what's too small and based on that you keep what you want and you send back what you don't want and then you pay for what you what you kept very simple and very efficient I mean it's, it's a time saver. If you don't have a lot of time, it's a real time saver. And you're sure to have some fashionable clothes. So I had a talk with my fashion expert. Um, they're very, very friendly. Uh, mine was called Jack. Uh, very friendly, professional. They ask relevant questions. Um, they're not intrusive. And yeah, I really enjoyed talking to them. It was really nice. I will tell you what I suggested them after I show you what's in the box because I'm very curious, I haven't opened the box yet, and I don't know um, whether or not what is in there is to my liking or not. But I'm assuming it is, because I gave them some good suggestions, I think I was pretty clear on what I like and what I don't like. And based on that, let's see what's in the box. Alright, so let's start with the unboxing. Okay, pretty cool. First of all, a note, dear Nathaniel, I hope you are excited for your very first outfit box. Inside you will find a great selection of clothing that I picked out for you based on your telephone on our telephone conversation earlier. I hope you like what I chose for you. Have fun in trying all of them on. Best wishes, Jack. All right, pretty cool. So we have the note and Okay, first impressions. Um, not a big fan of this color though. I do like this one, this shirt. Um, let's open that up. Uh, really neatly packed actually. I really like the fact that they used nice looking rope. Um, so this is from Jack and Jones Premium. I'm not a fan of, well, no, not a fan of this one. Don't really like the color, but that's fine. We've still got a lot to go because I do like this color, the dark blue, which is by Minimum. All right, cool. Don't know that brand, but looks like a decent shirt. Looks like a nice classic shirt. Um, what I did ask them was uh, not to include any squares and stripes, although they did that with the hill figure. Uh, that's fine, but that's not really my type. So I probably won't be wearing that. Uh, the t-shirts, okay, cool, simple t-shirt, I like that, I like that, from Samsua and Samsua, don't know that, don't know that brand, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, uh, it does look a bit too big for me, even though it's a medium, hmm. okay, something I will have to uh, tell Jack, and I'm going to try them on later, I will post, I will put some pictures of, as well of uh, the outfits that I'm wearing. Now this white one here from also Jack and Jones, it looks pretty cool. I like the, the beige 
padding inside. Uh, let's see if, if it has a, oh, same padding here. Okay, so it's simple white shirt, pretty cool. I like it. Um, what I did note though, and what I'm noticing now is when I was talking with Jack on the phone, um, I asked him that my preferences are mainly for Italian cut shirts. So that means what you see here, well, that's not really Italian cut, that's a, a regular cut. Now, I'm no fashion expert, guys, so what I'm saying might be wrong, but the, the cut on the shirt here isn't, isn't um, an Italian cut, which is fine, but I do prefer the Italian cut. All right, so we're down to the pants. I'm not a fan of these pants, though. Mm. All right, I will try them on because I'm curious if they got the size right. But again, this is trial and error. The first time won't be correct uh, because, you know, they're still trying to figure out what your right size is and what your taste is. But I must say, what I'm, what I'm seeing now is pretty, pretty, pretty accurate to what I want it to have. Though these shirts, they feel so big. I don't know why, but I'm not, I'm not that wide, you know? That's a pretty, pretty white, white shirt, but that's fine. It's a big medium. Maybe I'm a small, although this one seems much, much, uh, much more accurate. So this is ice. This is solid. Is it solid? Yeah, it's solid. Okay, this shirt I really do like. You know what I like about this shirt? So it's a darker gray, and what you can see is that it has like these hints of white in it, which make it look pretty cool. It's a V-neck. I do like V-necks in my free time. Uh, not too deep, of course. That's not my type. And what is cool is, what we come here, is a list, a packing list with the prices. So that's, that's pretty cool. You can, you can um, mark what you want to keep, and you can see how much every item costs. So that's how it works, guys. Uh, oh, you even get a gift certificate. 50 euros to hand out to your friends, which is pretty nice, pretty sweet deal. I think you can make a lot of people happy with that. So yeah, you can see the prices, you can mark what you keep, and the rest you send, it, it doesn't cost you a dime, so that's pretty cool. Um, another bag, uh, I don't really know what that bag is for. We'll find out, I guess, later. Uh, this pants I do like, I do like the darker, the, the Bordeaux red, is it Bordeaux red? Wine red, I don't know, I'm really no fashion expert. Uh, from Samso, Samso, or, well, I, I, I really feel ashamed not pronouncing that correctly. But it does look like a cool pants. This is definitely a pants I would wear. Uh, I do like some color, because only classic classic is not really, uh, well, what I'm aiming for, you know. I, I do try to have a bit of variation in my, in my clothing. Okay, so we have one pair of shoes. Uh, I don't see any belts so far, which is quite unfortunate. But then again, that's maybe something for the next order. And I do like these shoes. These are pretty cool. Oh yeah, I do like them. I, I like those shoes a lot. Frank Wright, okay, pretty cool. They even have this, uh, oh, is that broken or is that supposed to be like that? No, that's, that's supposed to be like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I did ask them for some suede-like ch like shoes. Uh, the ones that I was actually uh, referring to them were not like this, but kind of like this. So I will show you guys what I was actually, um, what my preferences were, what I was suggesting them. And uh, then you can see a bit what, what they actually sent me, how accurate, uh, how accurate it was. So that's pretty cool. I've got the shoes right here. And that's basically it. All right, yeah, there's nothing else in the box. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. I didn't have to go to, to, uh, to the shop to buy anything. They did, they did a pretty good job, I must say. Though the shirts do look too big, but I'm sure with the next box, um, that issue will be solved because, well, I will, I will make notes and they will adjust the outfitry box. So, to quickly summarize Outfitry, first of all, there's the short online questionnaire that you have to fill in with your preferences of what kind of clothing, what kind of shoes you like. 
Secondly, there's the optional yet recommended freestyle constellation with one of their experts. And thirdly, that expert will put together an outfit and send it to your, to your address. Now, you can try these clothes out at home and send back what you don't like. And what you like, you keep and you pay. There's no costs in shipping, so shipping back stuff or not shipping back stuff or receiving stuff, it doesn't cost you a dime, which is, I think, a great service. So there's more than a hundred brands where you can choose from or which they can recommend you. And they do the combining for you. It's shoes, shirts, t-shirts, pants, anything you might need for work or for school or whatever. So that's pretty amazing. All right, so what's my opinion? Let's have a look. So my opinion, well, I think Outfittery is a really cool service. It's super useful. It saves you time. And the outfits that they sent me in the box, which I've opened, they're almost spot on to what I want. There are a few things I would like to change. For example, the size of the medium. Um, I didn't see any jeans, uh, unfortunately, because I did ask them for some um, slim fit jeans that are quite stretchy. Uh, it's a crazy thing. It's like one jeans from replay that I bought a while ago, which is very stretchy. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but as you can see, it's a very stretchy jeans, though it doesn't look like that. Um, they didn't include any jeans like that, unfortunately, because I really, 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 really want a jeans um, similar to this one. And for the shoes, I think I asked something rather hard because the shoes that I suggested them to have something nearly similar was um, actually shoes that I bought from Hugo Boss earlier and those are these which I'll show you they are not really suede I, I don't really know what kind of material it is but it was hard to explain so of course it's also hard to match um, what I was looking for though I must say they did a pretty good job I really think it's a good service and maybe not on the first order but the second box that they send you it might be just perfect so i'm really curious to see what next that they'll send me so i hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did please like and subscribe that would help me out a lot and check out outfitry if that's something that's interesting for you bye guys